Hello everyone, and welcome to another Tony Refresh. Today I am doing Johnny Zest Home, and I went back and forth with this one quite a bit. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. I actually restarted this build like four or five times, which I, of course, cut out. My original thought was to put in that kind of old, really small trailer and have him live in that with, you know, something around it. However, as I went through to try to build it as a base game only build, just wasn't feeling it. So I decided to scrap that idea. I'll revisit it later. But I decided instead we're still going to stick with the trailer theme to an extent. I built this little more updated trailer and filled it with a lot of basic stuff. There's one thing about this build that I want you to know right away. One, it's short, at least compared to my other builds. So be ready. It, it'll end quick. <laughs> but also, I wanted to keep it simple and not too cluttered. I still wanted that feeling like he didn't have a lot of money. You know, just starting out. But... For my storyline with this is one of two things. You can either go that he had some money and he spent it on his trailer, you know, and all that. Or you can make him poor. And with this build, I actually created two spaces that you could move him into. If you have the four rent pack, of course, you could make these rentals. And then have him in the smaller place I stuck in. Or you could use the roommate system if you have a university. If you don't, I would just recommend locking the door to one of these, whichever one you're not going to use. And go from there. You, of course, have to use some cheats to get into this if you want him to be really poor. But... I like it. I think it also works if you're playing as Johnny and want to give him an upgrade. So that's the the other thing here. There's multiple options with this build. And that being said, as I said, I kept it very simple. There's not a whole lot in here. In fact, I... Actually, the other day was like, okay, I'm done with this build. I didn't do a whole lot with it. And then I went to do the, you know, editing of this and realized it wasn't a very long video at all once I sped it up. I mean, even putting it in, it wasn't a very long video. So I went back and took another look because I... I wasn't completely happy with it, but I wasn't sure what I, else I could or wanted to do. So I ended up throwing in a lot more landscaping and some other things. So you may notice it seems like, okay, I'm acting like I'm done, but then I come back and do more. Um, to be honest, I didn't even watch. Um, it was so short. I'm like, I'm just including it all. So if there's anything weird in here, I'm sorry. I didn't even edit. You know, my save stuff is still in here. So you'll see that pop up and all that. So, all right. So here I am working on the, what I'm going to call the shed of reno. I pictured this as maybe it was just a shed that was on the property. And then somebody renovated it so they could rent it out to someone. So this is where I'm saying if you really want to go with the he was kicked out down on his luck scenario, 
you could put him in this shed and then have him upgrade to the trailer. As you know, I didn't talk about the trailer much because there isn't a whole lot to it. But that's the storyline between these two, though, is take your pick. I will probably throw this in with the four rent pack in my one save file. Though I may update it a little bit with some other packs. <laughs> but not a whole lot. I think it's a good build for what, you know, I feel Johnny's Us storyline is, at least at the start of the game. So, the other thing is... I did build this in Oasis Springs. All of these will be built in Oasis Springs. Bad lighting and all. <laughs> you know, I want you guys to know what it's going to look like officially in there. And luckily I'm able to kind of ignore the lighting. But the colors are going to look different. So I'm hoping that this front trailer here does... Kind of give off a vibe of being an older trailer, but not too old. Um, it's hard to do with base game stuff. But I wanted that shed in the back to look older. So I think I pulled it off. Um, and also, like I said, less is more in this build. Uh, leaving you guys room, of course, as always, to add your own... A flair to this with other packs if you have them, but still very playable if you don't have anything else and don't want to add to it. The other thing, if you really don't want to use this shed and you want to use the trailer, just take the door off. I've done that with builds. I've just taken the door off and left it there. I may upload it as a room also. On its own, just because it's, you know, kind of a fun little thing you can plot places. So, actually, I think I will do that. So, if you want to just delete it and bring it back later, you can as well. Um, but, yeah. I, I really... I knew this was going to be a small, short build. It, it's, you know, it's Johnny's Est. He's not supposed to have a whole lot yet. And I am trying to do these more as to where these families stand when you load up the game. I don't want this to be, oh, well, they've made it, and, you know, here they are. Now, that being said, this one could be used as an upgrade lock if you wanted to do that. Because I think it is a bit of an upgrade from what he had. That's the point of these builds. <laughs> All right, so here in the backyard, I really wish we had base game fire pits. I'm going to say that again. Base game fire pit. Just one. One would make me happy. Um, instead, I put tables and candles now because it works. It gives you that idea. If you have a pack that has a fire pit, please throw it in there. I beg of you. <laughs> All right, you don't have to if you don't want to. That was kind of, that's kind of my, you know, sign that that's what I wish I had. I will be very excited when we get into some of the packs that have those. That will be way later on. I am still debating how I want to handle if I could do overtime or just summer in general. I'm starting to have a lot going on. For those of you who may have never watched my channel, I'm actually moving in two weeks. Uh, so I've had a lot going on. And unfortunately, I've fallen behind on recording. So I'm not ahead like I was. I am debating about just moving down from probably June to, you know, beginning of September to one video a week. If I do that, I will be putting the Townie Refresh ser series on hold. Now, reasoning why, I also want to try to redo 
the community spaces in all of these uh, base game worlds. So I'm going to focus somewhat on that along with doing other builds. But that's my thought. I do want to know, though, what day would work best for you. So I have put up a poll on the community tab to see what day of the week you would like me to upload that one video. It does not have to be Tuesday or Friday. I can do it a different day of the week. I chose Tuesday and Friday because it just worked best for me and my schedule at the time. And I will resume that schedule in September. So check out the community tab, vote, let me know what you guys want, and we will go from there. And I'll pick up the townie builds again in September. That also gives me some time to do some of these Oasis Springs builds that are pretty big. So I will be working on them. They just won't necessarily be going up. Um, though I should still have a couple more to do. So this may not work very well. <laughs> I might get through Oasis Springs before I, I stop. I might do that. I'll just finish up Oasis Springs. And and then we'll move on to the next one. Which I gotta figure out which one that is. I can't remember what came out next. So anyway. You can see here that's kind of me thinking. Like what am I gonna do? And. I, I decided I wanted more. This is this is me going back, by the way. The pool was not originally in the final build. I just talked right over all that. But I definitely like going back and figuring out all of this because it's definitely needed. And made it look better from the main world so if you don't want the pool take it out i was going with that pool by the way as you know an above ground pool that was that was the point so so yeah all right unfortunately like i said i've talked over most of this because there really wasn't much to say about the build itself basic landscaping you know, some basic stuff, me going through, and is there anything else I can add to this? Mm. Not just for, you know, time for the speed build, but just to make it a little bit better. And this is the point where I realized I didn't put lights in. I didn't put lighting in, guys. I did not put lighting in. Okay, I'm done. Um, <laughs> so, going and adding in lighting... And just making it a little more fun. A little more, you know, put together. And I do hope you guys like this build. As I said, it's a small one. The whole point was to not put a whole bunch into this build. And I really like it. Alright, so we are coming up on the end of the build. And I hope that you guys love this thing as much as I did. Oh, I haven't play tested it yet, but looking at it, everything should be fine. I will play test it though before I upload it. So, all right, I'm gonna let you guys go and take a look at the pictures and I will be right back. love to know if you plan on downloading this build leave a comment below if you are also what you like what you not like about it let me know all right guys i will see you on friday with a 
renovation of the Willow Creek Park. This is a multi-pack build, so check it out. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.